Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I'm making a video on the public test server because it finally came out for the division. If you don't know what the public test server is, it's basically a version of the game that you can download uh, if you're on PC and test the game early. Now, this is a technical test of 1.4. Um, it will be going live, I think, on the 26th for everyone who wants to download it. So if you want, if you're like super passionate about the division, hate the current state of the game, like I think most of us do, and you want to test out 1.4 early, you can do that. All I ask is that if you're playing and you come across a bug, be sure to go on the forums, report the bug, so that they know that it's there, so that they can fix it. You're basically a QA tester at this point. Um, and yeah, we're just here to help out and I thought we would go through show you guys kind of the the gist of it <clears throat> So it gives you a completely new character I thought it was gonna give us our old characters back with just like changed gear, but yeah, that's not happening It's basically just a new character um, Just to show you like it gives you all like very very basic things here I have no mods you can see there's like been a lot of changes I was gonna do a video yesterday talking about in depth of all the changes that were being being made in about 50 minutes into the video um, it's it like messed up and like OBS crash and it didn't record anything so I just ended up sh like live streaming but um, I'll go through like the the gist of it right we'll do like an overall summary while we play through one of the missions I guess we could play through field hospital um, that's a pretty short mission or we could do like a little more lengthy one <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's just do the field hospital since it's like the first one of the game and you know, whatever. Alright, so we're going to put it on hard. Don't forget when you put it on hard, it gives you more gear, so that's going to be exciting. Um, and also you have your world tier level up here. So let me, let me change this. This is a little bit loud. At least for me, it might not be for you guys, but the dialogue volume is a little bit up there. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah. Basically what they changed, they changed weapon mods, so weapon mods aren't as effective as they were, so you can't get like 100% accuracy on your guns anymore, um, which I think is pretty good. Here, let me change this again, it's almost like it's too loud, like, still. I think if I put everything on 5%, it'll be better. Um, so now, like, you're not going to be able to just shoot your guns like a straight laser beam, like you could before. And that's really good because that allows them to lower the health of the NPCs so that they're not as spongy. And that makes it a lot better because it, it makes like the skilled players who can really control their spray will be a lot better off than some players who just like, you know, spray spray the gun and don't use it the way it should. So um, I'm really under geared here for doing this on so like solo hard, but I think we can do it as long as we play smart. Um, they've done a lot of changes to the skills. Skill values have been changed. Skill power has been changed. Um, Basically, the gist of it is they, they pretty much, like, reworked everything. And, like, you're going to see a lot of different... There's, like, I think there's some different talents in the game, too. I'm not sure if I just didn't remember them. But there's some talents that I can show you guys here in a second after we kill this one dude. And I'm not sure if they were in the game or not. Um, skills happen instantly now. Like, like the first aid heal happens right away. <clears throat> okay. Got that. Okay, so let me just show you guys here in a second. So I think these talents here in the tech wing are different. I'm not sure. Like, death by proxy, was that in the game? Destroy hostiles, uh, destroy hostiles deployed skill to increase skill power by 20%. I don't remember ever seeing that. Uh, police up, kill a hostile with any skill for 10 percent chance of auto refilling all ammo types to capacity there's no way that was in the game there's no way i think they reworked some of the talents i'm not 100 percent sure but you can see here in the top left like we have our world level so you we can't go to world tier 2 yet because we don't have high enough gear score our gear score right now is like 131 so we need to get some 163 gear so we're gonna play through this mission and try to get as many good drops as we can and yeah overall like it seems pretty awesome like do you see how the heals instant it's literally instant like it goes up before you even like do the animation so i think that's pretty good because this game has like low tick rates and i think um that's gonna help a lot in pvp also i don't know if you guys noticed the ammo capacity is way higher so i'm pretty sure what they're gonna do is they're gonna patch 
the uh, the whole thing where you put Alpha Bridge on to get extra med kits and you pat uh, you put on um, Lone Star to get the extra ammo. I think your ammo capacity is like way higher now, so that's really good because when you go to restock, all you have to do is just go up to the box and restock. You don't have to do like anything too crazy. So that's pretty exciting. So you can already see the time to kill is very good. Like it's very good, especially because I have no weapon mods, no like no uh, gear mods on anything. Like I just pretty much have the, uh, about the rawest like gear that you could possibly have at this level. So it's not bad. The time to kill feels very good. Now obviously as I get stronger, the time to kill will go down. Let's get that guy that guy here so uh i'm gonna be streaming this later and probably uh, like progressing my character quite a bit you can see the skill cooldowns they take forever which is good that's how skills should be you shouldn't be able to get your skills up instantaneously like you could We might be having golds coming, like elites, maybe. Oh shit, alright, we're gonna back up a little bit here. Now I have offensive ult, I might, might pop that here. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, they changed offensive ult, did you guys notice? It looks like it makes the, the um, fire rate way higher. Oh, that's so good. Okay, let me look at this for a second. So, reload speed buff, weapon RPM buff. Yup. Oh my God, and a damage buff. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't boost your crit and your crit chance anymore, which I think is pretty good because, like, your crit and crit chance should mostly come from your gear. That way, if you spec into crit chance, it doesn't completely make it useless if someone on your team uses offensive ult. So that's really cool. Um, I know they nerfed the defensive ult <clears throat> quite a bit. I think it's like 50% now instead of 80%, and the duration was reduced, so that's really good. Um, I want I kind of want to see what they did to the... Uh, what's it called? I forget what the other one's called. The, the medical uh, special. Let me see. Okay, all right, so it's got instant heal, healing rate, <clears throat> heals and cures the user and nearby allies, revives allies in range, automatically triggers on lethal damage when not in a group. Wait, oh, shit. That's good. Okay, so basically what happens is, if you're solo, this is one of the, thi one of the things that they're doing to help solo players. Um, basically, if you're solo... You can, um, like, not even pop your alt, but it will pop it for you, I think that means. We'll have to wait and see. Um, a little bit stuffy, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, isn't there, like, a doorway we can go in here? Well, yeah, right here. Oh, we don't have any lockpicks. Shite. Okay. Well, we'll just go through here. We'll see, uh, see if we get to this next part. God, my allergies are killing me. The fall is coming, guys. I can't wait. In the winter, it's not as bad. Like, my allergies don't kill me as much. But, uh, I woke up, like, not too long ago, so. Pretty groggy. Alright, Jessica Candle. Let, get out of here. Oh, there she comes. She's coming running. What the hell? Where the hell? Oh shit, there's guys here. Yeah, the time to kill feels really, really good. A 131 shotgun there. Probably won't help me. Can I get this guy?
Come on, fucker boys. Oh, no, I got, we gotta. Oh, wait, here they come. Ah! Oh, whoa, that, is that a new animation there? I've never seen that. I've never seen them flop on their face like that. The escort right, there we go. Heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. Field proficiency cache. What is that? Field proficiency cache? 10 to 30 Phoenix credits. What? Oh my god. Alright, well, if you guys want to see if uh, if burst rifles are a little bit better or not, we'll have to see. 44% crit hit damage. That's pretty high, huh? Alright, let's also put the shotgun on. <clears throat> Alright, so we got some high ends from that i'm not sure what that new what that new uh crate was but okay looks like you might be getting like loot for doing challenges or doing missions or something i have no idea oh i probably sound so nasally right now man i can just hear it in my head i sound like a freaking Outside mouth floor. breather bro <sighs> all right Oh yeah, you get a good amount of ammo now. It, it looks like that's not going to be an issue any longer. Alright, let's try this burst rifle MP5 that you guys know and love so much. Oh, shoot. I don't know if they, like, increased the, uh, the burst rate. I think they did. Or maybe I've just never used this type of weapon. That could also be a possibility. So you can see, like, uh, SMGs, like, they have lower damage, but their, their, like, stability is a lot better. So, like, assault rifles are gonna, and, like, LMGs are gonna have a lot higher damage, but have low, like, like, a lot of recoil, you know? So, that brings back the shooter feel to the game that really didn't, really didn't feel that shooter feeling after you completely maxed your gear out, so, that's pretty good. So you can see it kind of does work up close. I love that the heal works instantaneously. <clears throat> it's uh, it's gonna be so much better. Uh oh. Oh shit, you see that? It instantly healed me. That's really cool. That's a that's a good that's wow, that's crazy. So if you're solo, the medical alt will all automatically heal you if you're about to die. Throw another nade over there. Okay, well, he's stunned. I'll take this guy out. One more guy. Close to dying. Oh, God! God, I'm not sure if that was intended for him to do that. I think that's what they were talking about the updated AI Because he was just like wiggling his butt backwards. He's just like moonwalk the fuck out of this place, bro All right, got him got him Got the medic safely across Okay, so we got a vector. Okay, awesome. Awesome. I want to try the vector out. Uh, I'll be trying it out in my stream tonight, dude. Oh, shit. It's got deadly. Okay, not bad. 
what she can do for us. You can see Deadly got nerfed quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Looks good. So far, so good, guys. All right, I think I'm going to put this tactical ACR in as my secondary. So we'll run, like, a one of those. Combat assignment cache. So it looks like there's, like, a bunch of caches now that you can get. Super 90 shotgun. Okay, 10 Phoenix credits. Awesome. All right, guys. So I just wanted to do a nice little introduction video. Um, I will put a link in the description if you want to see detailed changes of, like, everything that's been made. Like I said, I tried doing that for you guys, but my OBS crashed after 50 minutes, and now I'm, like, super depressed over it. So, um, yeah, I just want to post this little video just to show you guys, like, the changes and, like, the cool little things that they're updating. And, like, this game feels completely different. I can promise you that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop the video a like, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.